Steve in Asheville, North Carolina, I'm guessing. Paul, I'm thinking about moving to planers, maybe a pair of magna pens, but I keep hearing they're tricky to drive. What kind of amplifier do I really need to do them justice? Should I be thinking about high wattage, high current, or both? What matters more with these types of speakers, voltage swing or the ability to handle low impedance dips? I want that magical see-through sound, but I don't want to end up with an amp that's out of its depth. Um, you need to be able to handle low impedance dips. They're not so hungry. I mean, if you have a couple hundred watts, you're going to be fine. Magna planers, some of them do tend to have some pretty low dips. Those are planar speakers, a type of planar speaker. So like on the Aspen series, this, these are our speakers. This is a planar mid-range and this is a planar tweeter. And then we have conventional woofers. So ours is sort of a hybrid of what we're talking. Now our planers are a little different in that, well, let me explain. So that for those of you that don't know, a planer is a piece of film with a conductive foil that's very, very light membrane. And it's actually lighter than the mass of the air that it's trying to move. And in front, you can't see it here because of the grill, whether it's the mid-range or the tweeter, on our planers and on magna planers is a set of magnets. And they're like in bars that go straight down here. And ours are front and back. So we do a push-pull kind of motor. That's what we call them, motors. That I know that's a little confusing to people because you usually think of a motor as spinning. But a woofer motor is the way that it makes it move, all right? So in a planar motor situation, you can have an, a lot of planers that you see on the market only have magnets in the front, and that's fine, but it doesn't give you that quite symmetrical push and pull, and it is 6 dB lower than if you, or five, something like that, uh, than a, uh, a, a push-pull style. But anyway, we're talking about magna planers. So, Magna planers, you want to be able to have enough power, but also be sure that you can handle dips down into the two ohm raid region, and and I think you'll be fine. I own magna, I own probably every magna planer ever made. I even own the timpani uh, uh, woofer towers uh, or woofer panels. So they're I love magna planers, great stuff, really really good stuff, and I don't think you'd go wrong getting a set of magna planers. Just get something that has the ability to do those dips and, and you'll be fine. All right? Good luck. Bye.